Hello, I'm Jan Noel with Cobo Banker and this is uh, my video series number four for first time home buyers. And this video is uh, talking about making an offer. So when we make the offer, we submit a form called the Residential Purchase Agreement, the RPA. And in that uh, offer, we will uh, offer a price, of course, and then also terms. So um, the basic terms would be how long you want the escrow to be and the time frames for the contingency removals. So a standard uh, escrow period a time frame would be 30 days, but that's always negotiable. I just finished an escrow where we negotiate uh, where the seller needed 45 days and it was totally fine with my buyers and so we did a 45 day escrow but sometimes uh, a seller will want you know a quicker sale they gotta sell a house or they've sold the house and they're really motivated so all that's negotiable and um, it gets agreed upon by both parties everything gets agreed upon by both parties um, and the second thing is um, determining the price. So what I, I will help you with is um, pull all the comps, the recent solds uh, surrounding the property that you're, you're wanting to buy. And so you can see what's going on, see what happened within the last 90 days. If you don't find anything within that last 90, we'll go into, oh, you know, out to a year. You don't want to have to go out that far, but sometimes it's necessary. And then take into consideration each one of those properties. And so um, the one I will go, you know, depending on the square footage of it, um, the, the size of the lot, the condition of the property, if it's turnkey, totally upgraded and up to date, you want to find one that is equal. You don't always find apples to apples, but you could try your best. And then, you know, if a property has a view or not a view, or if there's one on a canyon or, uh, you know, so there's variables involved. And um, so I dig deep and individually go in and take a look at every single property um, and then send it to you and then we can discuss it and come up with a price that you feel comfortable and that's a fair market value for your offer. Um, and so as far as the terms go, um, there are standard terms, like I said, the 30-day escrow is a standard time frame um, that gets negotiated as well as uh, time frames for you to do your physical inspection, that's 17 is uh, standard. Um, appraisal, the, uh, the lender, if there's a lender involved, the, the appraisal will be a standard day uh, turnaround for that is 17. And then for your loan, if there's a loan involved, it'd be like 21, but all those time frames are negotiable. And it just depends on if you have competition or not. And now, if the property's been sitting on the market a while, you um, have some leverage. So you could uh, very easily uh, offer a lot, lot less than what the listing price, what the sellers are after. Maybe they've been on the market for a really long time and then they're motivated. So you have some leverage with that. Um, the second thing is, is if there's competition. So the opposite of uh, if the property's been sitting on the market a long time would be one that just came onto the market, it's priced just, usually it'll be priced just under market value, and there's all kinds of buyers that realize that and want it. So then you have a lot of competition. And I have to be honest with you and tell you, cash is king. Um, but not always, I, I, I recommend that my buyers um, write a letter, uh, to the seller explaining who they are, even put pictures and say, you know, we're first time boat buyers, I really love this house, we'd like to get in, help us out, you know, we're a nice family, wouldn't you like your home to go to a nice family, that kind of thing. It does make a difference, it really does. And so when you have all that competition, if you can put your best foot forward and show them your letter and tighten up your terms. So you have to talk to your lender to see how short of the time frame periods that they can do. Um, I've got a couple lenders that can um, fund your loan instead of 21 days, 10. <laughs> it's really tight. I hate to do that to a lender, only if you have to. And the same thing, they'll tighten up the time frame for appraisals and for your physical inspection. But we can make it work. I've done it before. We just have to jump to
So I recommend that you, if you can, be in town, don't be taking a vacation while you're in escrow <laughs> or when you're trying to negotiate these things, you know, let's just team up together and um, we can get it done. It's, it's fun. It's really, it's fun and I will never let you make a misstep. Um, so once, uh, you know, so if there is uh, multiple offers coming in, know what your maximum is because uh, you will, you know, it'll start to get into a bidding war and it's the, you know, the seller's agent's jobs to get them the most money as they can. So they'll just, you know, push you and push you until you finally say that's enough, you know, I'm not going to do anymore. And you may win, you may not, and that's okay. If you don't win, it's not meant to be your property. So don't sweat it, something better will be come along. Uh, once you do, once, uh, you know, it's all that stuff's negotiated, but once you have a meeting of the minds and this, and you both agree upon everything, then you have an accepted offer and then we open 